Hi everyone, this is Kurt with Dianese. Uh, OC Motorcycle has been kind enough to invite me out to do a little test ride of this premier top of the line offering from Triumph in their sport bike category. It's the Speed Triple 1200 RR. Uh, and if you remember, maybe about a year ago, uh, we did a test ride of the 1200 RS version, which is the more standard version no, no fairing, no cowl, uh, conventional handlebars versus the clip-on handlebars, which you'll see on this bike. Uh, the riding position uh, is a little more sporty on this bike. The foot pegs or the rear sets are moved in a more uh, up and back position to give you that more sporty feel. Um, another one of the big differences it'll be interesting to feel is the electronic suspension. Uh, the Olin's 2.0 electronic suspension system versus the static system, the standard Olin's uh, forks and shock that are on the RS version. Um, so without further ado, let's uh, go see how she goes. So we just got back to the shop uh, from taking uh, this beautiful bike for a spin out to the local Santiago Canyon Road here. Uh, got a little bit of freeway, a couple you know, open twisty roads a little bit to feel it. Uh, didn't get too carried away because it's not my bike, <laughs> but uh, really got to get a good sense of it. It's been a year since I rode the standard version, uh, but even still a couple things really stood out in the differences of the bike. Uh, the first thing you notice, super easy uh, the seating position and um, how you feel on the bike you've got the clip on handlebars but they have a nice rise on them they have about a little about a three quarter inch to an inch rise on them which helps takes the pressure off your wrist a bit when you're just rolling along the freeway things like that um, the foot peg position is a little further back and a little up so it just gives you that more kind of sporty feeling in general but not overly so to where you're getting cramped uh, i don't have the best knees and it didn't bother me at all for the time that we spent on it uh, the suspension, the electronic suspension, fantastic. I had it in comfort mode. Uh, I had no problems. It took some harsh stuff over the, over the bridges, over on the freeway and toll road area and stuff. You get some harsh bumps on that, handled it perfectly, but was still not sloppy in the, the canyon or the tighter road. So it has a, like a perfect balance. You know, it was really nice to ride. Um, I would say this bike compared to the other bike, um, the standard RS is much quicker immediate steering uh, even before you think about it you can already feel it moving this is a little bit more stable a little bit more uh, slower turning not in a bad way in, in just uh, in a way that as you would start riding it faster if you took it to some track days or things like that uh, it would probably shine a bit more um, you 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 might run into that twitchy like as you went into a track day might um, that might run out before and this would continue to go into faster pace and things like that um, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, just look at it. It's truly the gentleman's sport bike. I mean, just the nice finishing, uh, the carbon fiber, the, just the whole manner of the bike, the way that it rides. Um, super smooth on and off the throttle, same characteristics of what we had with the RS. Um, so for someone who's riding it around, a daily rider, you're, you, know, you want something that you can live with that's really smooth, really easy to ride, uh, even in traffic, things like that, no problem. Another thing which stood out, which you don't usually think about, but just doing a U-turn. The steering radius on this thing, I mean, you can turn it all the way locked, all the way locked. Most sport bikes, you, you're barely <laughs> turn around. It makes a little bit of a chore if for a regular everyday rider, just kind of doing their things to work and back and, and basic errands, things like that. Quick shift is always brilliant. Uh, the Triumph shift assist is super smooth up and down. The brakes, fantastic. You got the Brembo Stilemma brakes, uh, same thing on the RS, fantastic brakes, like a full road race brake. The exhaust note's great, not very loud, uh, but just sounds really good, especially when you get on it. Uh, it's just got a great, you know, overall feel. The fairing does do a little bit, not a whole lot, but does do a little bit. Uh, you can uh, direct the wind up into your uh, helmet area a little bit, which as long as you have a sport helmet is good. Uh, it'll be fine. Um, it's not going to cause any weird buffeting, at least for my 5'11 frame. Uh, some people at different heights may 
you may feel differently on it. It's really, really a nice bike to ride. Uh, and super cool features like, you know, I've never had a bike with the remote uh, or with the Bluetooth key. So you have the, you don't even have to take your key out to handle the gas tank situation or refueling, which is nice. Uh, you've got your cowl, which comes off as well. You can put a seat on there. Um, the, the display, the TFT dash is super bright, super easy to read, tack, speed, gear indicator, um, easy to, to manage the home button and the mode buttons while you're riding. That's all adjustable on the fly. Little carbon fiber inlays here on the fairing stays, which is nice. As you're riding, you can still see some carbon fiber, which is always cool. I can't really... Uh, say anything uh, more about it other than I think she'd go look great in the garage. So if you want to come down and check out this bike for yourself and everything else they carry, I know they've got a couple of these Speed Triple RRs in stock as well as the RS model, which like I said is fantastic for around town urban, almost better for that tight city environment with that super quick handling. Either way, you won't be disappointed.